You know, 161 is a course that uh, effectively all electronics engineers and all electronics technicians should actually come to and take. And the reason I say this is because of the fact that uh, they don't really cover this in school. In fact, many times I'll ask a, a survey from the class, they'll say, how many of you just recently graduated? And maybe two or three people will raise their hand and I said, did you ever cover this subject? And they said, no, we never covered this subject. What they covered was some uh, electromagnetic theory, but not the actual practical aspects of what's going on. Now, one of the things about this is, is that you can see that um, the prerequisites are basically just a basic understanding of electronics. And I'm talking about really basic. Uh, I go into specific things that will allow you to pretty well understand it. Now, what you'll gain is you'll gain an understanding of what's going on with electromagnetic compatibility. This particular course covers uh, grounding and shielding, which is a big question mark. It's an extremely big question mark because even a recent book has been developed that's over a thousand pages long just on what grounds are all about. It's extremely confusing at times. And then what we'll do is we'll look at the electromagnetic compatibility issues as far as radiated emissions and susceptibility. We'll go through uh, the types of coupling that exist. Electronic or electrostatic coupling versus a magnetic coupling and the combination of the two. And we'll try to discover how we can identify which one has the greatest magnitude, which can cause the greatest number of problems. And then another area that they really don't even cover in school and a lot of other places is cabling. What type of cabling do you need to use? Coupling devices to and from. A lot of times people will say twisted pair of shielded, but the biggest problem there is where in the world do you connect a shield to give you the best signal possible? We'll cover that specific thing. And then of course we'll go through grounding uh, as far as the types of groundings and where they would be. And then the uh, <coughs> common mode rejection is a really big problem. That happens when you're grounding at two different locations and what will happen is you'll create a ground loop which everybody hears about and this ground loop will interfere with the signal that you're trying to measure. Uh, and then of course when you've done everything you possibly can with respect to guard against signals getting somewhere then you have a last ditch effort of shielding. Now shielding will allow some circuit that's within the uh, circuit that you've designed or working with uh, has an oscillator and it can radiate and cause all kinds of interference internally and also externally as far as uh, interfering with other equipment. There's been cases where a person had an electronic cash register. It was a mile away from the airport and it actually interfered with some of the airport systems. So you've got to be very, very careful with this arena. And then another biggie that uh, a lot of people don't think about, what they experience is called ESD, electrostatic discharge. Electric static discharge is something that happens whenever you move, uh, take a step, whatever. You can rub materials together, you can create that, and it can cause damage. Now, a lot of times, it doesn't cause it to be destroyed. It wounds it, but that's even kind of worse because it doesn't quit until you really need it. So you need to be able to guard against that happening in your designs and in the way you hook things up. And then what happens here is that when you take and put parts on a, on a PC board, uh, you've got to lay that out properly. If it's not laid out properly, it's just like basically trying to mix a bowl of spaghetti and you get all kinds of interference. And then, of course, the last thing that we'll cover in this particular course is what a switching power supply is and why it causes so much interference and what we can do about it. Hopefully, I'll see you in the course sometime. In the future, you'll benefit a tremendous amount from what we covered.